Christine, those powerful wind gusts are still very much a problem here at the Jersey Shore tonight, but the bigger concern overnight into tomorrow will be flooding, especially with high tide approaching. High winds whipped up sand and salt water while battering beach fences in Bayhead, New Jersey, Monday night, and traffic lights swayed above the few who dared to drive in this mess. I got a lot of experience driving at nighttime, and right now it's, it's, it's about as bad as it gets. In nearby Point Pleasant, the cold, biting rain pelted people running through the parking lots. A little rain you can deal with, but the wind is just crazy. It's hollering at my house. It's just nasty. They were outside against the advice of emergency responders. What's the worst part of this storm tonight? The wind. You won't find anyone at this condo complex in Long Branch who disagrees. The relentless wind left part of the roof dangling off the side of the building. Then another piece crashed, wreaking havoc on cars below. I ran outside uh, to move my car, but my, wind, my back windshield was already. Smashed in. A threat that lasted throughout the day, as CBS 2's Meg Baker found out at noon. Here comes the roof, just came down. The roof just came down. Now the big concern is coastal flooding. We saw emergency crews out in force setting up cones to close off residential streets already underwater. Dangerous conditions due to this January nor'easter that's not done yet. At this hour, nearly 4,000 customers across New Jersey are still without power. Again, emergency responders asking very sincerely tonight for as many people to stay off the roads as possible. Let them do their jobs out on these streets. Reporting in Long Branch, New Jersey tonight, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Okay.